Okay. Hey guys, welcome back to more Everytas. It's very enjoyable, of course. Playing with the worst weapon in the game against Everytas. On the highest difficulty, so. Hopefully we actually kill it this time. We got it down to like 10% last time, so. Maybe 15%, which isn't too bad. Uh, I would have been happy with that, and then I could have moved on and, and made more videos, but. <laughs> Apparently not. Uh. I don't think there's a threshold where I will just give up. I'll, I'll beat it eventually. But I'm definitely going to stop talking at some point. And that's uh, the dreaded... The dreaded... Per gently brush you aside attack that does have my life. That's, that's what we're most scared of right now. Because your timing has to be perfect so you don't get hit by it. I did that, but it just didn't give it to me. And you see, my attack only did 243. If I used almost every other weapon, it would do close to 900 if I hit him in the head. But that is not the the hand we've been dealt. So. Oh, what? Did the worst possible attack. That's just shit luck. Uh, the big problem with this fight in general, and the reason why everybody hates it, is just because he can charge when you're at point blank. If he if he could only charge when you're way back here or whatever, I don't think anyone would care. But but since he can charge when you're right next to him, and it has just a, a hitbox that takes up half the room, then that's why nobody likes to, dealing with that shit because it's just nonsense. But I'm just gonna recover some stamina here. And I guess their method for recovering stamina in this fight is just dodge once. Or only dodge and don't attack. Because not dodging would not work, so. We just deal with it this way. Somehow I got 601 out of uh, one of those attacks, so it's possible I'm hitting two parts of his hitbox, because it's. Uh, it's a pretty massive, uh... Oh, it's her box. It's a pretty massive NPC, I'm say. And now we just want to get into pretty damage. For some reason I'm taking damage, I don't know why. There's a, a combo, a death combo. I'm just barely far enough away to get out of it. We're doing a good again, so I think the boss will eventually go down. It's just a matter of one. I don't know. Does that seem like it should have killed you? I don't know. <laughs> uh, he hit twice with one swing. I don't know what the deal was there, but whatever. It's a boy you just stop caring. It's whatever, every death is bullshit. <laughs> and it's just uh, a matter of eventually winning. This doesn't really happen for me on, on lower difficulties. I know this is a common occurrence for most people that play Souls games. Like, there'll be some boss that you stop giving a shit about it and just sit there and grind it out. But uh, I don't generally have that problem for for early runs. But once you get into high New Game Pluses, there's always going to be some boss that randomly gives you trouble and annoys you. And for me, it's every toss and with the Blade of Mercy. Um, I think it's just we're using the worst weapon in the game to fight this boss, so... It's not the worst weapon in the game in general, maybe. We'll see when we do Rival Spear and so on. Non-broken uh, non Rival Spear. But who could say? Uh... I guess I could just do a week of Everytas videos. That would that would be interesting. Let's see how well those do. Right. 
Oh, one shot. Okay. All right, that's that's it for commentary. I'll see you guys whenever I kill the boss, and we'll be talking over Mets' nightmare or whatever.